What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert, and you're watching the Biker Bar Podcast. I've always had a weird speech pattern, speech impediment, and like I'm very self aware of that. And then when people like like to bring that up, it like it, you know, you're like you think to yourself, like, man, like, do I really sound that bad? And, like, even like as you're trying to like work on it and enunciate, and um, it's just one of those things where if you have any kind of insecurities, it will bring that out. Yeah, they sure will. I remember we talked about that last time. Was it just, um, I can't remember. Did you have some kind of hearing loss or something when you were younger or it was just like a speech impediment? And Yeah, I well, I had a speech impediment, um, but I also lived in France for five years uh, from when I was like nine to 14 years old. Uh -huh. um, so I never lost the speech impediment. Uh -huh. say, I maybe slowly started to grow off it. And I'm not even sure if it's technically an impediment. It's in speech. I couldn't say my R's. Uh-huh. Um, You'd be failing at it being a pirate, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and when I, like, so when I lived in France, I learned to speak French fluently. And that's why I spoke on a daily basis at school and whatnot. Um, and I don't know if when I came back, I just had a French accent, which it could have been because I was literally speaking to the point where no one could tell I was American. Right, right. But, but when I came back, I spoke really fast and I spoke kind of funny. So a lot of people could not understand me. If you like that, make sure you check out the full episode. And hey, do me a favor before you take off, hit the like and subscribe. A big thanks to the show sponsors, Tasco MTB and Project 321. Hit the links in the show more to save some money on their products.